So in this video I'll be demonstrating how to draw some style text using the graphics 2D. And um, the same kind of style text that you can draw with the text pane or editor pane and so on. So what you see right here is something that we are going to try making. It's not that hard, so come on. And also the whole source code will be in the description. If you're too lazy or something goes wrong then you can always just download it from the description but let's get started we need to create a string of the text that we are going to draw then we want to create something called an attributed string and we're just going to call it as equals new attributed string inside the parameters it takes the string that we made above so s or you could just copy this and paste it in here you don't have to create a string object then we can just take care of the drawing part part so g2d dot draw string as dot get iterator and the x and the y is just the normal coordinates of the string and we just need to set a color before it new color and we're just going to make it red so now when we draw it we get this normal looking string like we would if we were normally going to draw it but let's add some styles so if you just say as dot add attribute then we can say text attribute dot font then in the object here we can create a new font and give it whatever uh, font you want whatever font type and whatever font size so now when we draw it you can see the font has changed now what if we want to affect some of the parts like from the V here to the N well that's really easy then we can just go in here and after we create this font object we can say comma from the starting index 0 and the N is at index 9 and then we can just run it and yeah you can see we only affect this first part here so now we can actually just copy this paste it say 10 for instance that's where the s is beginning and the and the e ends at 16 i think and then we can add another font size bigger so you can see this is you can get some quite amazing and fun looking strings using this. Let's just remove it again and remove it so it affects the whole string. Then if you want to add an underline for instance then you can just say add attribute text attribute underline then in the value here we need to say text attribute dot underline on and if you run it now you can see that we've got an underline and as before you can just continue and say comma zero comma nine or another index and it only affects that part so we can do just do like that this and then we'll get a weird underline for instance if you want to add a background color behind the source then we're just going to do it like this in the value it takes a new color and we're just going to make it yellow so now we have a yellow background but we wanted to only make it behind the source so 
10, 16. And here, here you have it. And you can just play around with it. You can just say text attribute dot and then scroll through all of them and try them out. We can also, instead of saying underline on, we can say underline. And you can say that's something like low dashed, uh, low dotted, low gray, and so on. So we can say low dotted and we have some dots. Too small. So, oops, underline dashed. That we can see. Now you can see there are small dashes. But yeah, just play around with it. It's really fun. You can get some amazing looking strings. And um, yeah, that was everything. If you like my stuff, you can always subscribe if you aren't already. More tutorials are coming. You can always give me ideas or ask for tutorials on how to do something and I will look into it. Um, but anyways, see ya later.